Stephen Kipoditch will find the toughest field he's ever had. It's a tougher field, in my opinion, than he met at the Olympics. He's clearly an athlete you have to rate. It would be difficult not to rate an Olympic champion. But the question of whether he can run 2-4 or even 2-3, I think is, is a big question. And I think if the weather is half decent, he will have to go that fast to win. Wilson Kipsang is an interesting situation because in most people's books, he should be the Olympic champion. He was clearly a class above other people going in. He misjudged the race at the London Olympics amazingly and got beat. When you look back at his run in London last year, you must say he is a hot favourite uh, and I think he will be there when the race shakes out towards the end. In my mind, Geoffrey Mutai is the person who is my own favourite. His run in Boston in favourable downhill conditions was astounding, but I think his run in New York, where he lowered their course record on a very difficult course, really, really showed the kind of person he is. If he's fit, and he tells me he's fit, then I think he will be very close to winning and probably will. The other thing about Jeffrey Mutai is that, that, that he is still hurting from the fact that he wasn't selected to be in the Kenyan team in the Olympics. And I think this, this gives him that additional opportunity to show to the people who didn't select him that that was a mistake. Emmanuel Mutai, he's a past champion, a great athlete. He can perform well. I'm not certain he's a winner. I understand he's in good shape and I think that he could probably go faster than his own course best. That won't be good enough to win. We've got Patrick McCow in the whole field as well, okay, the world record holder. He clearly has class. He is saying to people, the world record is going to go here. He thinks that there's enough talk among the other Kenyans in particular to say, let's have a go at this, let's bring it down. He's clearly got the legs for it. He'll be there when it shakes out at the end. Segai Kabedi is the strongest Ethiopian in the race. He's won London before. He will be looking to try and stop the uh, Kenyan domination that, that's been in London for a little while. As a past winner, he knows what to expect. He's a great competitor. He had a wonderful battle some years ago with Samuel Wanjuru in Chicago, which really showed the kind of tough person he is. We'll see him battling all the way.